The way computers make decisions is through something called an if statement. This isn't that different from the way humans make decisions. Let me show you what I mean. For example, when I go to an art store, I may think, if markers are on sale for a certain amount, then I'll buy a lot of them. Or when I go outside, I'll think, if it's cold outside, then I'll wear a jacket. These are simple if statements I use to make decisions all the time. I check if some condition is true, like if it's cold outside, and if it is, then I perform some action, like wearing a coat. In programming, the if statement is used the same way, to test different conditions and execute code accordingly. Let's translate our decision about whether to wear a coat or not into Java code. To make a decision about wearing a coat, we just need to know if it's cold outside, and if it is, we'll wear a coat. The Java code for making a decision about wearing a coat is an if statement that looks like this. Let's look at our decision-making code first. We have an if that starts our if statement, followed by the information our program needs to make a decision. This will tell us whether it's cold outside or not, and it's inside these parentheses. This variable value, is cold, is something called a test condition, because its value varies to tell us if it is or isn't cold, and we have to test it to determine its value. And this test condition has to evaluate to either true or false. And what variable do we know that does that? Booleans. Booleans can only have the value true or false and are perfect for decision making. So let's say we have access to this Boolean is cold, but we don't know whether it will be true or false. The next thing in our if statement is a block of code, which can be multiple lines of code and comments. And this code will only execute if the test condition, is cold, is true. And this whole block of code is surrounded by these curly braces. And that completes our if statement. Notice that the if statement does not end with a semicolon like other lines of code do. It begins and ends with curly braces instead. And that's because a semicolon tells our code that this is the end of a statement. But an if statement is more like a container that holds lines of code inside these braces. So let's say the value of is cold is true. Then our test condition will be true, and we'll enter our if statement block of code. And then our print output will be it's cold, wear a coat. But if is cold is false, our test condition won't be true, and we'll skip over this block of code. And nothing will be printed out. Next, let's see how we can apply our knowledge about if statements to program a simplified self-driving car.